Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, I have uninstalled the large maps and large battles plus the two lances um, simply because the lag and the time it takes to pull off one mission is becoming really, really unbearable for me and, I'm, and I know it's becoming unbearable for other people as well and I'm sorry. Uh, I thought I had to, I, not I thought I had to, I, I wanted to play that um, just to see um, how things were, like my big, just my biggest dream is to have larger uh, scale battles um, in Rotec and the larger map sizes really haven't been utilized yet. Um, we're still facing the same amount of opponents. Yes, we have an extra mech or two on our, on our lance drops, but it's not a big deal. So I think for the lower level stuff, and I mean like uh, lights and medium mechs for our company, I think we're going to stick to just the regular gameplay uh, and leave that off for now. And then later on, I think when, once we get medium heavy, heavy assault kind of area, I'll drop it back on and see how it makes a difference. So if we're running with two lances of like one lance of medium, one's one lance of heavies, we'll take some you know higher end missions and see how it plays out. Now the, the uh, combat might take a couple of hours to play, um, but I can get more diligent in editing that later on. But I think early, like for these early uh, fights, I think we want to pick up some mechs and get things moving a little quicker. Um, you know, watching lights run around and miss each other for most of their shots is kind of boring. So let's get this done. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get this done with what we've got. So we've got our urban back, urban mech back in 13 days. That's the risk urban mech. Um, and the one thing I think I've changed since the end of the last episode was the mongoose. I changed the paint scheme on the mongoose. Um, and now I've changed it to the HAL 9000 because it looks like the HAL 9000 little eye here on his arms and stuff. Um, this, this mech is going to be one of the first ones that I get rid of. I'm sorry, but it's, the paint, I can't do anything with the paint on it. And it, it's... I know it really doesn't matter in battle, but look at the difference between the piranha and the, you know, and the mongoose. It's just, you know, not happening for me. So, yeah, we'll just, uh, I think, leave the mongoose off for now. Uh, although, it, I mean, it is running with what? It's got like six medium lasers or five medium lasers and a, like the beagle probe and everything. So we'll probably still run it. Although this guy is our tag unit, I may have to reassess. Now that we're not going to have five mechs in the field, we'll only have four. I have to reassess where, who's going to get what. Um, and maybe we move the Beagle Probe off of the Mongoose and put it into the Prana or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Once this urban mech is up and running, though, um, I think, uh, you know, the other thing, too, is we can strip these and, and work up the urban mech or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but let's just jump into a contract right now and see what we got here. So there's a few things we can do. Um, I want to go up to one skull, and repossession is usually against heavier vehicles, and I don't want to take damage. Um, so you know, most likely it'll be armored vehicles and a lance of mechs, and it'll mostly be light. Most li most likely be light mechs. Um, so I'm thinking if we go for something with a bit more salvage, almost no C bills. Bargaining chip is what? It's against Clan Wolf. Take the base and hold it until our forces can occupy it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And let's see how it works out. It's four four seventeen salvage. And this should pay for our drop costs. So let's negotiate this one. Going to go full salvage. That should cover our drops. Uh, if we take da a lot of damage, it's not going to cover that. But we'll accept this. And uh, should we take the HAL? So we've got the rangefinder on here. And a bunch of medium lasers. We've got a tag and beagle, beagle probe. You know what? We would go with this guy because it does have a tag. The Prana's just got tags and one ER pirate medium. Yeah, let's go with the HAL 9000. And Gundal, I think you can set out this this one. Um, and let's go with our uh, main lance here. Let's get this done. Yes, I know the HAL 9000 is underway. That's fine. All right, here we go. Maybe we'll be able to pull off two missions today. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, let's do this. 
I do have orders. Let's get them medium lasers and that beagle probe up there and find out what we're up against today. Let's go, Hal. ECM removed. Nothing, eh? Nothing. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are ER boat. Let's get up a little higher on a hill here. Won't make that much difference, but... Infiltrator. Uh, I want to get you right up here. Get those streaks up close. Okay. It's already feeling so much better. Alright, let's get in here. Large laser and LRM-15. Destroy offensive turrets and destroy... Oh, defensive turrets and destroy wolf defenders. Uh, so we've got... Looks like an internal combustion engine over here. Most likely a vehicle, if I had to guess. Uh, let's hold off on Helion for now. She's got the range. Uh, you got the beagle probe and stuff. Let's get you into here. Mm -hmm. This will give us a better view here, I think. Okay, there's our turrets. Still reading enemy contacts, oh god, please stop. The area you can Take out those before we can... Yeah, really? You, you, you think? Well, there's our uh, choices. So we've got... An OSH scout, that's what, 35 tons? 30 tons, maximum hover transport. Zora with an ATM, eh? Mmm, ATM's juicy. What do you got? Light turret chassis with missiles. Ballistic. Ah, crap, what could the ballistic be? For 240 armor for that. 128 for this. Good chances with the medium lasers. Oh, this guy isn't, well, I can't really get him either, can I? Let's tab around, see what we got here. Nothing. Tabula rasa here. Ooh, good chances to hit this guy, but he's got lots of armor. Let's go after the ballistics. Nice, all five hit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get them shooting at me. And we'll see, oh, it's so much faster now. Let's see if we can get this guy dusted. Nice. Helion should be able to finish that up. Somebody probably in the background. Oh, Chiquita. Ooh, it's got a PPC. Forgot about that clan Chiquita, man. Ah, uh, scout. Yeah, 35 tons. You know, I never minded the look of the Aus Scout. It's the Ostrock that I I didn't like, the 60 tonner. Just looked bizarre to me. Really low chance to hit, eh? Oof. Really? Why is it so low? Why is it so low? Is it it must be the range. It has to be range then. Still 18. Really? Alright, well let's get up here. Let's work on that turret. We started it. See if we can get some hits on it. Oh. That's say Okay, much better chance to hit. We're going to fire. Aye. Nicely done. That turret is gone. It sure is. Commander. Commander. Okay, let's get a side shot in that Oscout. scout. I could go after the turret, but it's going to survive, most likely. Um, hmm. Well, he's only got a medium laser, though, so he's not really worried about that guy right now. Turret, pretty good chance to hit. It's got streak LRMs and a pair of regular LRMs, so not too threatening. Mm, better chances on the turret, so let's take it. Ah, one hit. Should be able to pull that turret down next turn, I think. 
So we're going to have to do a mission for Clan Wolf after this to kind of balance things out, I think. To make good on our... Uh, we're going to just... It's basically an apology mission. It's like, yeah, sorry we took your base over, but, you know... Got to make money somehow. Yeah, so much faster. It's a lot of misses. Fire looks a lot better now too. I don't, maybe it's just oh, that's a lot of hits. <laughs> don't tempt fate. Barely hit. It's just you tempting fate. Uh, is it me or does the fire look better now? In this particular version, I mean, we still got like clipping here. It's just dithering or whatever it is. But is, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But the fire looks better. It's more fluid. I don't know. Maybe it's just the, this particular version. I don't know. Just looks good. Okay. What do we got a chance to hit here? Oh, that's pretty good. We could finish up the turret, but I think I'll leave it to everybody else. This the, the cicada is the one I would like really kill. But if we can pull down the os scout here. Oh, what do we got? This is another turret back here. Like turret chassis, I have no idea what's in it, but let's go after this guy. Good chances to hit, we're going to take him. Okay, his medium laser is in his CT, I think. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not too mistaken. Yeah, it'll be nice to get him back to doing two missions per episode. That I tell you, I like the idea of the large battles. I like the idea of having, you know... Um, um, two lances running at the same time on a big map, but the, I don't know. It's not the, it's not that they implemented Im implemented it poorly. I think they implemented it well. It's just not quite there yet. You know? There's just too much calculations for the computer to have to do at this point. Unless you have a kick-ass rig, and even then if you did, you know, it's still not going to, you know, ooh, nice. Still not going to give you a really good performance on it. But if you like spending time doing it, it's well worth it. Like if I wasn't playing uh, and having like, like on a YouTube channel um, and having people watching me, I would definitely do it. That's what I'd be playing all the time. Because I don't mind, you know, taking the time to do that. All right, let's see if we can tag this guy up. Uh, firing. Oh, yes, man. Have a seat. Now, I think we got split fire on Helion, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to split fire, de depending. Well, maybe we should just go all out in the turret. Because this guy's not doing And we can finish this guy up, too, though. Maybe we can leg him. Ooh. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, if I took a PPC, PPC hit, you're damn right. Armor's low. It's a torso hit. Ooh. Yeah. There's the other turret back there. So what do we got here? No idea. Uh, so let's tab around. It's probably going to be either this guy. We can finish it. We might be able to, well, 38% chance for the leg. 70, yeah. I don't know. Turret. So 105 damage. He's down to about 60 something. Mm, it's got a lot of internal structure. Nah, crappy chance to hit. Back turret. Eh. So it's either going to be this guy or this guy. Let's continue on. Oh, uh, guns off the field. Guns off the field. Let's do this. See if we can leg him. We might get the leg, you never know. Or we can just blow him up. That works too. Oh, we got both legs destroyed. Yep, that one's done for. Nice job. I guess <laughs> with the past track track record with Healy and I'm just expecting her to just like not hit what I want. Okay, the, the Chiquita I think is the one we want to get next. Or maybe this guy? It's not doing very well. 
Okay, I think I'm going to target that turret and then jump behind the building here. Like the buildings over here. Good. Was that... Who shot? Was that the turret? It's probably a laser turret then. Yeah, screw you. Yes, Commander. Okay, you don't have fire on maneuver yet. Um, but you can get to a position where you can just... Well, is that Chiquita going to be able to get you though? That's the question. Like if I... I don't know. I think the cicada is like as far over as it can go. Oh, come on. Camera movement has got to be a little better, I think. Okay, so if I move... Yeah, see, that's, that cicada will still be able to shoot me if it moves over. But I don't think it can, though. I think it's as far as it can go. Let's go this way. Point at the at the cicada. Let's go after this turret. We want to get rid of this thing now. It's too far forward. Oof, buddy. Okay, this is a fire maneuver. Fire on the turret. Nicely done. Gonna walk it over and get some stability because I think we're gonna jump up and attack next turn. I'm listening. Are ya? Now, question is, can they see you back here? If you stay back, they may not be able to see you. 34. LBX-5 cluster. Let's pull out the ER large for now. Well, it's got the best chance to hit. Now, let's cycle the ER large off for now. Get more heat back. Um, LB-5X cluster, ATM-6. LRM-15. That's probably the one we want to go for. A little better chance to hit. Cicada, ER, PPC, and two small pulses. A lot more armor though. Light turret. Two streak sixes. So as long as we're back far enough, that turret's out of play. So let's go after uh, this guy. Guess I'll give it to him then. Well, didn't give him much. I'm hoping that Cicada moves forward. Well, Kind of moonwalking forward a little bit. Oh, I can't see him. Damn it. There's a hole in my armor. Yeah. I'm receiving you. There's a hole in my heart. Can we not target this guy? Uh, yeah, I think we can. Really? <sighs> Zora, pretty good chance to hit. Do we go after the turret though? 128. Let's take the Zora. Uh, of course, we missed the large. All right. I wonder if I pulled hit and run, if they would, if the vehicles and stuff would follow me. That's a question I can't. I don't really know.
Yeah, I think he's just... Oh, shoot, really? Okay, we gotta melt back. We gotta back up. Back it up. Back it up. Yeah. Vehicle back here. Okay. Um. Let's do this. So we're going to start pulling back into here. And I think this cicada is the one that's got to go next. Everybody's going to focus fire on the cicada. Don't want to be too close to my other guy. Let's get over here. A little bit of tree defense. Don't care what the chance to hit is, we're firing. It's the cicada that's got to go down. Alright, Goofy. Uh, yeah, that's as far as you can turn, eh? Alright, well, do it. See if we can get the tag on. Nope. Yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna have to pull back. So this might be a full episode mission with the second lance. Oh, he's moving. Is he moving forward? Yeah, he is. Good. Didn't move very far. Still a miss. Um, yeah, let's move over here. And let's get that ER large back on. And firing. Alright, one hit. We'll take it. Oh, head hit. Was that a head hit? Looked like it was. Yeah, it was. Nice. Now that spread to more than one mech. Okay, good. Spread the damage all you want, buddy. I'm good with that. Okay, he's got long range weapons. Not so worried about the LRM5s and stuff. As long as we can keep far enough away have some good chevrons of evasion. Hopefully we can pull them away from the turrets. Alright, Goofy. Reporting. Let's just get you uh, moved. Flames on the way. That's fine. Oh, you can still shoot back here too, eh? That's good. That's probably just the tag though. Okay, walk it back. It's stability. Yeah, just see if we get the tag on him. Nope. It's fine. That's all right. Okay. Oh, what do we got back here? Grinner. Pegasus. Firefly. Okay. They got one more somewhere too. Uh, let's move you. I'm gonna jump it gonna jump the shark here. Okay, I gotta keep my right? No, left. Left side. Faced more that way. We don't want a PPC hit in the torso. That would be bad. Alright, we're gonna take a shot. Alright, got four hits. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Back it up. Back it up. 
Let's leave the ER medium off and firing. Ah, uh, one hit. Okay. Wish it was a large, but we'll take the take that one hit. No, no big deal. All right, Dallas. Uh, how far can you walk here? Pretty good. Let's jump over the flames. Let's see if we can uh, hit this guy in the head with an LRM or something. Oh! Hit the vehicle in the back though. Did that pen? It looked like it penned. It did. <laughs> I love that. So the shot wasn't wasted. Nicely done. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, he's backing up. Okay. You stay at range, buddy. Okay, we're pulling them out now. Pulling them out. Still interested to see what the last mech is going to be, though. I think once this PPC is off the battlefield, I won't, I won't feel so uh, threatened. I mean, they can still do lots of damage with these other with the other vehicles and stuff, but that PPC to the head would be bad. I mean, it's bad any day of the week, but yeah, they're gonna whittle us down if we're not careful. Okay, turret missed. It must be running ER mediums. Come on, guys. What are you doing? See, this is where it would be nice to have the extra lance. I wish it was just a way to include extra lance instead of large battlefield, but it didn't seem to say that. Did not have that option, unfortunately, that I could see. If someone knows that there's an option for that, please let me know because I, I couldn't see it anywhere. But if you do know where it is, please let me know. So I'd love to run with a second lance, but not big battlefields. Um, nope. Oh, where'd the cicada go? Here we go? Ooh, nice hit. Oh, he moved over to the other side. I should have been watching. Starting to take stability damage here. Rainer can see you here, eh? Alright, let's back up. Uh, sorry, your left side's pretty much damaged. Let's see if we can turn to the right a little bit. See if we can get a tag on this cicada. Nope. Eventually we might land one. You never know. All right, I guess we're not, I guess we're walking. Thirty-seven, huh? I still got to have my... Sixty-three. Well, let's move to there. We're still in pretty good cover. We got our stability back. What? Why would it want to go from 63 down to 30 all of a sudden? What? All right, well. Okay, nice. That's good. That's good. Back it up. Back it up. ECM protected. Nice. Taking a shot. Uh, I'm going to have to start worrying about ammo soon. Copy that, Commander. Still got 10, we got 10 turns of LRMs.
So kid is slowly being whittled down. I have no idea how much armor it's got left. The Grinner is my other feel of fear, though. If we can pull him out, I think we can hammer him with uh, just everything at really quick, like really close range. Okay, he's missing again. Got any info on this guy? Nothing. Whoa, what the hell happened there? One of the wolf defenders died. Did his engine explode or something? I saw 75 damage. Maybe we had hit its engine or something and it blew up. Interesting. Okay. No attack, eh? I want to back up, but I want to shoot at the same time. Uh, I could reserve. Let's just reserve. So if we try to drop LRMs on this guy, uh, let's just reserve. See what they do here. Yeah. Yeah, if I don't move, that guy's, the cicada is definitely going to hit me with the PPC. Wait, why can't I hit it from over here? Let's send her up. Confirmed. That should be four, yeah, four chevrons of evasion. Really great chances to hit. Now, do we include this one? We're going to be overheating. Let's not say we did. Nice. Three hits. Beautiful. Now, can you? How close can you get? Pretty damn close. I understand. Let's hammer him. Not great chances to hit, but we're taking it anyway. Hopefully, we get the tag on. Firing. Got the tag on. Beautiful. Let's apply some pressure here. I know we're clumping. I know we're clumping. I uh, gotta be in the woods here. If they're gonna fire back. All right, let's dump this load on this guy. Okay, that sounded just wrong. Okay, a couple more leg hits. What? No damage. How are we doing on this leg here? Almost got it. Almost got the armor. I think the PPC is right here though. It's already taking a minor head hit. Not much though. But this leg we can take. Hopefully, hopefully we get initiative on him next turn. That would be nice. Or you know what? Oh, he's guarded and entrenched now. We've still got uh, we still got Dallas. Uh, that better not be a Gauss rifle. Better not be a Gauss rifle, cause that would be bad. That would be bad. All right. Hammer this guy. Ah, uh, I missed with the large. Lower leg destroyed, foot, hip Defense destroyed. Did we he didn't lose his leg though. But I think he loses initiative with the leg pieces destroyed, something like that, maybe? Hopefully. Okay, infield today to war. Let's go after this guy. We should be able to claim this leg now. We're just going to fire straight out. Uh, we're running low on ammo too. There it goes. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Well, I mean, the good thing about using up all the ammo, or using the ammo, is that uh, we know that every one of them hit. 
All right, Helion. Uh, can we clean that guy up? Probably. I think so. I don't want to sprint. I want to walk because I've uh, got to minimize my heat use here. Now, we could go after the leg, but I think we want to blow this torso off. The large mist. Okay, good. There he goes. See ya. Yes, Commander. You don't have fire maneuver yet. Let's just get back for now. We're going to figure out what we're going to do here in a second. Let's back it up. Back it up. All right, Luis, back it up, back it up. So did they change this too? The burnt trees are now... Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't played in so long, like... Because it looks so nice now. I mean, it's dark. It's like, there's no contrast to it. I think the black, the burnt ground should be a little lighter. Give the trees a little more contrast. So you can see them over the ground because like when you're like this like you have to be either the lighting has to be just right or you got to be right in close to be able even you can't see the trees right in close but you know what i mean if they lighten the ground up slightly the burnt ground or at least made it sp splotchy more you'd be able to see the burnt trees a little better yeah just my aesthetics what do i know what do i know um we can fire a maneuver right you sure can. I'm going to fire at the maximum, but I'm going to leave the LRMs off for now. Nice. Back it up. I'm going to have to pause this game here in a second. got to go get, get dinner here, but I think we should be able to take care of these guys. They got seven things left, five five ground five ground units and two turrets. The turrets should go down pretty quickly, I think, because we can focus fire on those guys. This maximum has got to go down. The Grinner is what I'm worried about. I don't know if they've got four reinforcements. I think they do, four vehicle or four uh, units, the two max, and I think there's two vehicles back there. Uh, ER laser turret. Yeah, it's definitely medium lasers. Took 20 damage there. Okay. Alright. Um, fine. I'll play the game that way. We'll play the game that way. Let's move up. Uh, so my right side is severely damaged. My right torso. Let's move into here. Target this guy. Good chances to hit. Take up. Beautiful. We penned. Nice. Enemy magnet. Critical damage detected. Right here. Mm -hmm. Can you not get... I guess you have to move up this way. Can't get the vehicle from there, but you can from here. Let's work on this maximum hover... God, maximum hover transport. I'm having a hard time with my throw today here. Let's go full out. We've got great chances to hit. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it will. It will. That will do. All right, let's uh, do this. Should be able to target this turret with the large laser. No, just the LRMs, huh? Oh well. Not going to take it at 26%. Going to save those LRMs from we got a good shot in the mechs here. Alright Goofy, let's get around. Let's get our Beagle probe over here. Okay, so he's got LRMs, mediums, and small. So he's got to be close to be dangerous. The Grinner has got the... Oh, the Pulse Lasers, man. That's what we want so badly. But if he gets in close, we're dead too. 604 armor. So we're going to have to split these guys and max out 594. Max out the damage. This guy's got a medium 2 SRM6s. So it's not so dangerous. Alright. Let's just brace here. 
see what they do. That Grinner, I think, has got to go down. I think it's more dangerous than the Firefly. But they got some good gear on it, so, I mean, I'd like to get some of that stuff. The ER Large would be nice in the, uh, in our Firefly. And the Pulses would be great to replace some of the other stuff that we have. Yeah, he's not moving in. He's smart. Send in the vehicle so we can kill it. All right, that's all right. That turret's still firing. At least it's not taking this toll on us. It's only hit once so far that I can tell. So not that worried. Um, if I had more of a punch, I'd go after that guy, but I don't. Um, A little bit unstable, but I think we'll be safe from the turret with our uh, evasion. Let's go after this guy. We're starting to run low on ammo here. Uh, 16 shots. We've only, oh man, we've only got a handful of turns left. Just go with the streak six on this guy. No damage detected. Well, that's how you save ammo. Yeah. I mean, it's not the ultimate way you should be saving ammo, but whatever. Let's leave the large off. And we'll just take some shots at this guy. Here you go. Couple hits, nice. Yes, Commander. All right. Now is that turret? No, it's still the LRM only, eh? All right, well. Just bring you back. I really want one of those two mechs to move forward so we can just like get in there and wreck it. We ultimately need to go for back shots I think to pull it down quickly but I don't think we're gonna get that. We just don't have the ability to get around behind one of them without the other. Well that guy's yeah without the other one getting a good shot at us. Okay, that looks like they're splitting up a little bit back there. I want this Pegasus to move in. That's a Gauss rifle. Somebody's got a Gauss rifle back there. Oh, what is that? See that mech? Firestarter 2C, it does have a Gauss rifle. Frig! Oh, I want to handle this now. Okay, I think I got an idea. We're going to move over here and take a turn to cool off here. Cool off and stabilize. If we can stay away from that Gauss Rifle, hopefully we can pull one of these stupid guys out and we can clobber them. 
Nah, they're just going to run back and forth. Maybe that Grinner will move up. He's the guy I want to give the pacing to first. I'm here. Here we go. Okay. Not liking this. Well, he's putting himself out there. Awaiting orders. Throttle down, moving out. Might be a bit of a risk, but we gotta take the gamble here. And firing. Okay, one hit. Where'd I get him? Arm hit. Okay. Okay, we're going to push this, Grinner. Mech is on fire. Just gonna fire straight out. Nice. Reporting. Don't have fire maneuver yet, do you? Gotta move. Not the best place to go, but gonna give it a shot, unloading everything on this guy. Nice four hits and a tag. Beautiful. Beautiful. I haven't penetrated yet, but done a lot of damage to this arm. Okay. Commander. Crap, flames on the way, huh? Sure. Roger that. Let's get up in here. We can close the distance next turn. Oh, beautiful chances to hit. Look at that. Firing. Okay, two hits. Torso hit, nice. I think if we blow that, uh, I don't know if he's got a regular XL engine or a clan XL. Ooh, that could have been so much worse. That's what I was worried about, but we got really lucky there, so not going to complain about that. Let's do this. Not the best place to shoot from, but at least we're not in the fire. And firing everything. Okay. Nice. That was an arm hit, I think. I have no idea what's going on there. I don't think that Grinner's gone yet, has he? I don't think so. Okay, he's backing up. He's backing up. Now the question is, how hungry am I for the kill on this guy? Because there's always like, oh, you know what? Not that hungry because I forgot the fire the fire starters over there. We could come around here, right? With the fire starters back there. Ah, it's tricky. 
That's tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. That fire starter connects. We can get some support from our other mechs here. Now the question is... Yeah, it's this guy. It's this guy. Alright, now we're starting a new mech, but we gotta do this. Ooh, nicely done. You and your targeting buddy. It's a lot of leg damage. A little bit of back torso damage. Let's just put some streaks in this guy. Okay. Crap. Let's get up here. No, thinking, shooting, and running is all required. Let's not go through too much heat. Let's fire these three. The Nicely done. How far can you get, Dallas? Not enough to get behind him. Quick it. We can multi, though. Or do we want to? I think we just go straight on this guy. Ah, uh, we missed with the large. Would have preferred the large to hit. Yeah, that's a miss. That's good. Those two guys still need to go. But that firefly should be dropping a load in his pants right about now. So he might try and run. The Grinner will probably turn and fight, though. Okay. LRM5 is damaged. That's that ER turret. That's pretty darn far range. What about that Grinner though? What's he doing? Okay, so now it's four against two over here. If we can, our other two mechs should be rounding the corner. We'll have four of us on two of them. He's running. Left his friend to die. That's what he did. We are running out of streaks. We got, what, four turns left? This will probably be a confirmed kill. Let's take it while we can. That's the turret, turret. Let's do it. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. With any luck we can claim that Grinner this turn too. Then it's just that fire starter. At least he's being completely inaccurate with that gun. There's, a, there's another vehicle around somewhere, too. Reporting. I don't mean the Pegasus. There's, there's another vehicle vehicle somewhere. Ah, it's the wrong side, damn it. I don't really want to start on a new side here, but let's do it. Let's get on this Grinner. On 
Oh yes, target acquired. Kid Fox is still in good condition here. We can move her in. Uh, no. Yes. Those are leg hits. Beautiful. It's got a solid blue. Bad chances to hit, but we're going to take them. Well, 16 points, okay. Engine crit, eh? Wow. Must be the, must have been a torso hit. I can't think of where else the crit would be. Yeah, I have no idea. So let's pray we don't get hit by that Gauss rifle. That's that turret. Here it comes. Nope. Really? He goes on 21. Oh, okay. I see. He goes first. I see. So they still got their vehicle. Oh, sugar durger. Yeah, where did I get hit? That's my question. CT. Well, if it was going to be anywhere, I guess the CT is probably the best place. It's got the most armor. Uh... And firing. Oh, really? Really? Yes, Commander. <sighs> Certainly. I know it's not very much, but we got to get this guy. Leg destroyed, arm destroyed, torso destroyed. Going down. Guy's gonna go before me. Alright, uh, we don't mess around with this guy. Okay, Lilu Dallas, multi-pass, let's get this guy. Torso him, please. Torso him, please. Okay, thank you. Huh. <sighs> You know, the funny thing is, I said that those two guys could be completely deadly for us. It, right now, the one that's doing the most damage is that uh, fire starter back there. And, of course, that guy's hitting us. Reporting internal damage. Yep, I saw it. I saw it. I think we should chase this guy down. How badly is the arm hit? Well, you know what though? <laughs> it's the friggin' mongoose. It's not like I can't replace the arm for like nothing. It's only got a medium laser in it, so let's go after this guy if we can. Alright, one hit. They've got another vehicle back there somewhere. Or something's back there. Well, I'll take the better chance to hit. 
Give him what? You didn't hit him with anything. There's something. There was an internal combustion vehicle. I know I saw the smoke. He's not moving though. That's the thing. It's like I want to just get right in there on him. The closer I get though, the better chance that Goss rifle is going to connect with me. I want to try and get ahead of that guy. So, my right arm is mostly intact, so let's do this. Okay, great chances to hit. Vigilance. <laughs> do I roll the bones and see if I can hit him in the head? Or do we try to streak his CT? Or his torso? I think his Gauss rifle's right here. 50% chance to hit. So 25% we hit this torso. You know what though? Let's just go for hits. We gotta hit this guy. Well, okay. At least we're not wasting ammo. Moving out. Okay, firing on him. Yes! Yes, that's what I like to see. Now let's hope I go before this guy next turn. I should have attempted the headshot, I guess, but such a low chance to hit. Hal 9000. Oof. Oh, yeah, the streak turret. Damn it. It's got good targeting. Oh, you go before this guy. Beautiful. So how far can I walk here? Okay, I can get away from him. So let's target him and firing. Okay, good damage. Let's get over here like that. How do we do? Where do we hit? That's what I'm interested in. A lot of arm hits, a few CT hits. Okay, it's probably where our well, it's probably where the large laser hit. Now if Helion and Dallas. Well, he's going to move figures. Getting some stability back. All right, well, we kind of put him out for a turn. That's good. Or did we? He's not in a position that's going to be protective for him. Firing. Yes. Okay, we pen the arm, I think. Can't tell. Okay, that's our left arm. So this way, I guess? Right? Left? <laughs> left arm? I don't know, whatever. Let's just get in and shoot this vehicle. See if we can get him out of the battle here. Oh, beautiful chances to hit. Let's take them all. Firing. Nicely done. Look at this thing. See ya! Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. That was a reinforcement. So... Oh, okay. I was thinking... Right, that was the vehicle that came with the reinforcements. Commander? 
You guys are probably all laughing at me. Dude. Confirmed. All right, let's target this guy. Okay, that was torso hit probably. Yeah, that guy's only got medium, so not that worried, but starting to take its toll. We should be able to drop the turret relatively, Reporting. not simply, but... All right, buddy, it's your turn to go after that turret. See if you can... I, sh I should just leave this guy on this turret. Take the turret, please. Okay, a couple of hits plus the tag. Not too shabby. Okay, as long as he's not firing. Let's do this again. Okay, let's get this turret between us and that other turret. Right? Yeah. We're almost out of ammo here. I think we need to go after this guy. Okay, I'm just going to stand and fire. Okay. Should be able to claim this turret. Oh, come on. You can't miss with that. Can't miss with the large. Now I should be able to fire the rest of my ammo. Yeah, and jump away. Now the question is, we're not doing max damage to this guy, but we will to the turret. So let's do that. At least we can guarantee the turret kill. Yep. That's okay. <laughs> that is okay. You have done your job. Uh, let's reserve. Firestarter is still very much dangerous. Not doing much though. So if he's not doing much, we're not. We're just going to target him. Screw you, buddy. And let's go with everything. Fire in it all. Couple hits. Looks like he lost his arm. Now the question is, we go to this turret, street turret. And if we do, we should probably do it from range. So we can't shoot back. Is that good enough for the LRMs? Ooh. As you wish. All right, buddy. This guy's got streak, so let's get the turret. Well, we got the tag on. Okay, still holding out. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Is there a way we can get away from the uh hmm. 
So our left arm is damaged. That would put it in targeting range if I do this. But let's apply some good damage to this turret. Ugh, God, really? No, that's actually pretty good. Stripped all his armor away. Now he's like ripe for crit hits. Yeah. I wonder if that guy's out of Goss ammo. He's not firing. That is a very uh, interesting possibility. Okay, one hit, nice. Can you move up and give that uh, turret something else to target other than our uh, HAL 9000? Alright, firing, last, last of the LRM ammo. Well, you know what? It's a... Uh... Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's just reserve. I'm interested to see if he's out of Goss ammo or not. Okay, cool off in the water a little bit. Fire everything on this guy. Oof, almost. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sky's all yours. Beautiful. One less turret. I think he's out of ammo. I think he's completely out of ammo. Let's take advantage of that. We'll know in a second. Engaging jump jets. Awaiting orders. Okay, wait. Uh, we lost the left. S okay, that, this side. Moving out. Figure my left, right again. See, looking at the mech, I have no problem, like from that angle. But when I had to think left, right, it's a little bit more difficult. Let's do this. If he doesn't got any armor, reporting critical hit. Commander? Move order received. Which uh, or sorry, ammo, not armor. He doesn't have any ammo. Oh god, torso's almost gone. Yeah, because he's still got the ballistic, but he's not using it. I. No love on that strike. Yeah, let's just kill him. All right, Helian, he's all yours. Give him some good loving. Here it comes. That was a critical hit, that was. Well, I think I'll just stand here and watch you die. <laughs> I mean, what else am I going to do, right? Oh, please don't have any ammo. <laughs> please be empty. Nope, he's not. Oh, but he didn't. Sh okay, he shot. <laughs> I thought he was empty. Oh, it's a good thing he shot the uh, Kit Fox because the Kit Fox still had full armor. I thought for sure he was empty. I thought for sure he was empty. That could have been the last shot, though. Let's not mess around with this guy. You want to shoot me, do you? There we go. Another one for the kill board. Damn it, I thought he was out of ammo. But still, that was well done. Successful. 
All right, contract payment increased by 20%, 114000 which will most likely all go into repairs. We lost the medium laser, but no big deal because we do have extras. Um, a double heat sink, which I don't know if we... Have, I think we might have one extra. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. And we didn't lose anything else, really. I'm shocked that we ran out of streak ammo. So something I have to consider now is the number, amount of ammo we're using. We ran out of LRMs, we ran out of streak. So it's a possibility that we uh, go after those. Now, ah, mech parts, mech parts, mech parts. We don't have parts of any of these guys. But I'd like to get some stuff that we can really use here. ATM6, Clan ER Large. That's an instant upgrade. Oh, we've got an ERPPC, got the Gloss Rifle. LRM15. Another one. Uh, we could make a missile bullet with that. Medium pulses. <sighs> Streak six. Beagle active probe. Really? Really? Clan case. Look at all this good stuff. It's all good stuff early on, right? Energy fuel cell. 2.25 mil. How much is this core? 2.1, really? Clan XL engine. Okay, we're going to need... Well, we're still okay with C-bills right now. Damn, yeah, you know what? i got to start thinking about the immediate and our hit potential here. Guardian ECMs, that's still one of the things I should be taking, I think. Clan double heatsink kit, no. Jump jets, we don't need. SHS cooling? Yeah. Eh. Well, you do have eight, you know. ATM and ATM ammo could go that route. Thumper ammo. Who had a thumper? Maybe it was the vehicle that blew up. Right. I kept forgetting that that one vehicle blew up. Something must... I, I don't know. Maybe something happened. Maybe it went to fire and exploded. Is there anything I can think of? Um, Sam LRMs. Plus four accuracy with against their unit types. Against VTOL. Minus two accuracy with ranged weapons. Oh, that's interesting. Good for shooting down choppers. Okay, uh... Maybe I should take two medium pulses and two ECMs. Think about defense more than offense. Or we forego the large and we take a second LRM-15 and make one of our mechs an LRM-15 boat with a pair of LRM-15s. But I think at this, well, I don't know. At this stage of the game, it might not be uh, a good idea. With us running out of ammo, maybe I should just reconsider and just go all energy for now. I know it's going to generate a lot of heat. But regular medium lasers are like, yeah, I don't know. Three and a half tons. So that's the same as an LRM launcher. And if we take the ATM, this is a six. The ATM ammo, I remember, has only got like 60 rounds. So it'd only be 10 turns of firing if we take it. Right, and I would probably go with the HE. 
because it does more damage. It's shorter range, but it does plus, it does 12 damage per missile at close range. For 10 turns of firing. And if we couple that with the medium pulse lasers, it could be a pretty deadly combo. Uh, let's try it. I think we go that route. And then we'll see, we'll just roll the dice and see what else we get. This is a lot of stuff. I think accuracy sake, pulse lasers giving pulse accuracy, ATM having a bonus accuracy. Um, I think it's the best way to go at this point. Let's just go this. All right, Firefly Grinner, two Grinner parts. Nice, Osco part, LRM-15, we did get that. Ferro Fibers, which is nice. Clan Heat Sink Kit, which we could sell if we need to. Some Jump Jets. Uh, LBX, Machine Gun Ammo, SRM Ammo, meh. So we got some stuff to sell, some stuff to keep. All right, let's have a look here. 80,000 in repair, so not too bad. We made, what, 155? So another 75,000. We're going to have to re put the Hal's arm back on. So I think what we're going to do... Uh, let's see here. Manage our tasks a little better. Uh, we got two bays, right? Uh, the Jenner... Seven days, huh? 13 for the Urban Mech, really. That's right. I think we want to put the ur press the Urbi into service. So we're going to do that. The Hal lost the arm, so let's get that, well, let's get the Firefly done first. And the Kid Fox. Then the Hal, and then the Jenner. I think so. Well, yeah. I think we're going to go this route, because I think it's probably, you know what? Let's go this route. Let's get the Jenner back sooner. So I think we're going to put the Urban Mech into service and pull the ninth. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's go that route. All right, but I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in, in the comment section down below what you think about uh, leaving the big battles off. I think it's a step forward. Um, the play was a lot faster in this, not waiting for anything. Uh, the large map sizes made the uh, individual um, uh, sprites for all the mechs and stuff uh, way smaller on the board. You have to zoom in and see them all because just you were so much bored uh, to play on. So I think this is probably a step forward. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, also, too, um, if you have any um, uh, ideas for mech loadouts, please let me know. Um, I'm kind of bouncing a couple things around in my head right now. The Firefly, the I don't think the the large and the LRM15 are probably the way to go with this. I think we need. Um, I think we need to go with speed and uh, closer weapons so we can get more of them loaded on. Uh, the Kit Fox, I think, is probably still okay, but maybe we pull the ER large, put another ER medium and some other weaponry on it instead. Uh, the Jenner um, is working okay with the streaks, but, you know, ammo-wise, it's a it's an issue. So uh, I have to reconsider that, maybe get a, take out the, SR, the uh, Streak 4 um, to save a little bit of ammo and put a, uh, an energy weapon in there in case we do run out. It's a possibility. The HAL 9000, I thought did okay for today. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Going to leave, leave the episode there. If you enjoyed it, uh, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. I am going to go down and have some dinner. My mom, my mom, my wife um, made some stew. So I'm uh, going to enjoy that. If you guys are enjoying dinner, please enjoy it. And until next time, we'll see you later.